Please, Lord. Grant us the opportunity to have a good day. Oh! If it is in your good graces, allow us a few good bites. They'll come back. Got him that time. Just tampered with a federal facility, and now that's a federal offense. Got one. Good. You almost had my face. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. Uh, we, it's me and Chris. Chris is up front today. We are on the river. Now, I don't know about heavily pressured, but I do know it is high pressure conditions. We just had a front move through most of this week. That low is now pushed out. We've got dry, high pressure air coming in. So the bite is a little bit tough to say the least. So I'm not sure how many fish we're gonna be able to put in the boat for this video, but we're dang sure gonna have a good time doing it. I mean, look at this, look. Look at them clouds. Looks like the clouds off of like the Andy's room in Toy Story. Like that, that's what they look like. Like high pressure situation. We're just gonna about to have bluebird skies here shortly. So hang tight. We're gonna do a little bit of frog fishing, a little bit of worm fishing, a little bit of crankbait fishing. Look. We've been fishing for a few hours. Look at this, look. Does it look like we know what the heck we're doing? Look how many rods are out on the boat. That's the sign of a good angler right there that really knows they've really dialed in the bite when you got, I don't know, we've got five rods over there, about five rods over, I mean, I've got two back here with me. We've got at least 12, 13 rods on deck right now. It's tough, guys. And this is what it's gonna be like for a lot of us in the summer. When it gets super, super hot, you're gonna have to get creative and find ways to get a bite. As, as my buddy would say, Matt Jones, we're junk fishing. We, we have not picked up on a pattern. There really is no pattern. It's just junk fishing. You're throwing a bunch of stuff out there and hoping something sticks. That's what we're gonna do today. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go, oh, oh. We about had Chris go in the water there. He just about fell in the water. All right, let's get to it. Uh, let's take you back to this morning and... So I've got my frog tied on. I got my black frog. A little exo ribbon. We're gonna have that tied on just in case. We're gonna go with the bandito bug for my punch setup. On a Tokyo rig. Oh my gosh, Chris got bit on the frog. Got to blown up for sure. Now. See if he'll come back. Got him that time. Got him. Choked it. There you go, buddy. On the frog. <sighs> oh yes. Oh yes. Got the choker. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a fat little fish. Choker. Is that a large one? Yeah, it's a large one. Alright, see if I can get this frog out of your mouth. Okay. Alright. I think that one goes in the well. I think so. I'm realizing there's no way not to splash with this thing because it's so spread out. Like, you've got the weight on one part of the rig, then you got your bait on the other part of the rig. Like, there is no silent approach with this. Tokyo rig, slight bust. All right, I'm gonna change colors. I need something darker. The water's not exactly clear. I've also got these. I could go with this instead of the Exo ribbon. Carl's Amazing Baits Curl Worm. It's got purple, red, and blue flake in it. Got one, finally. 
right through the top of the freaking mouth. We keeping him or no? I mean, he's not as big as your guy, but at least I'm on the board. All right, so maybe changing this worm color was a good idea. Or maybe where they just are starting to bite worm. I don't know. I never know. Oopsie. Chris, you just tampered with a federal facility and now that's a federal offense. Congratulations. Can't prove it. I got it on camera, son. Got one? Oh yeah, you got a little baby. Like like a baby baby. Giant. Giant alert. Well, I may have one. Oh yeah, I got one. Maybe. Well, can I put you on fish or what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, another worm fish. He's got some little markings on his back. He's a good little fish. Good little size fish. We upgraded a little bit. Throwing him in the well. My feet are getting hot. Hot, hot, hot. Whew. Oh, much better. We had Crocs. Then you'd be on to something. It's the only thing you're missing to up your game. I mean, bad enough I got a fairy wand put on Crocs too. I mean, you might as well just get you a flat bill hat and leave a sticker on it. Turn around backwards. And catch whatever those bait fish are. We need to have the net out. Might want to move that rod. I'm gonna cast over it. You're gonna be able to sit that down there once you pull it up. I do not. I do not listen. I do not listen. They're on the fall, aren't they? And you ain't getting off this time, buddy. That is a spot. And I didn't realize there were spots in here. Yeah. The river. Now I finally got a good hook set. Yeah. You can listen to the daddy next time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had it. Look at, look, at the, look at the worm. You almost had my face. That would have made a great part of the video. If I wasn't quick like a ninja. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, that's probably gonna do it for this episode. We got six, five, something like that in the boat. Chris laid down the hammer, I only got two. However many else we got, Chris got them. Um, some spots, some smaller spots, a really small, large mouth. Chris took the cake on the biggest large mouth, and I think I was pretty consistent with my two. They were about the same size. Those fellas right there, there's the big one that's Chris's. Those other two are mine. Just doing some worm fishing. And Chris got the big one on the frog. Slurped it down like it was nothing. And uh, Chris gave it that one half second pause and then he set the hook on him. And uh, it was a really good hook set. I mean, that fish I don't think was coming off. It was, he had it buried in his mouth. It was, it was pretty good. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. Uh, me and Chris just out here having a good day, having fun. Um, no challenge or anything today other than the conditions. <laughs> Just two guys fishing. Um, if you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button. Um, if you want to, leave a comment down below on how your conditions are fishing. If y'all are going into that summertime pattern where it's about to get pretty rough um, and it's gonna be a grind every time you go out on the water, and uh, hit the subscribe button. Or don't, I don't care. But you will get some good fishing content if you hit that red subscribe button. And uh, that's gonna do it for today's video. You got any parting words, Chris? Peace. Chicken grease. You know, he always says that piece of chicken grease, we out. Later.